put it in perspective, the collective value of all cryptocurrencies at the very peak of Bitcoin was about two and a half trillion. Mm. The market cap of the single largest company in the world at that time was three trillion. So collectively, all the cryptos put together at the peak of their pricing was worth were worth less than one company. Mm. So my question with crypto has always been, is it a good currency? Mm. And that's really the, the crux of the, the, the question, right? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Clone Compounding, where our mission is to learn from others in order to achieve financial independence. Cryptocurrencies and tokens are back in the discussion following the recent Ripple vs. SEC case, which many believe was mostly in Ripple's favor. In this video, let's take a deeper look at Professor Aswath Damodaran's views on cryptocurrencies. This is part one of a two-part video series summarizing his views. Let's dive in. Professor Damodaran starts by sharing that he has generally held back from talking about cryptocurrencies for two reasons. First, he finds that any conversation about Bitcoin quickly devolves into an argument rather than a discussion. Second, some of the technical underpinnings of Bitcoin, Ether and other cryptocurrencies are beyond his limited understanding of blockchains and technology. But since he is asked a lot about this topic, he is sharing his thoughts. The Crypto Market Boom Satoshi Nakamoto's paper on Bitcoin was made public in October 2008 and implemented as open source in January 2009. Since then, Bitcoin alone has reached a market capitalization of more than half a trillion dollars. Bitcoin's success, at least in the financial markets, has attracted a host of competitors, with Ethereum, Ether, being the most successful. At least from a market perspective, there is no doubting the fact that cryptocurrencies have arrived, and enriched a lot of people along the way. If you are enjoying this video, please hit that like button so others can find this video as well and make sure to subscribe to receive next videos. The Mechanics While the cryptocurrencies emphasize their differences, the most successful ones share a base architecture, the blockchain. The key features of a blockchain are Decentralized verification Complete and open records Incorruptible, which means that the ledger, once created, cannot be modified. As you can see from its description, the blockchain technology is about far more than cryptocurrencies. It can be used to record transactions in any asset, from securities in financial markets to physical assets like houses, and do so in a way that replaces the existing intermediaries with decentralized models. It should come as no surprise that banks and stock exchanges, which make the bulk of their money from intermediation, not only see blockchains as a threat to their existence, but have been early investors in the technology, hoping to co-opt it to their own needs. The currency question. If you define success as a rise in market capitalization and popular interest, cryptocurrencies have clearly succeeded, perhaps more quickly than its original proponents ever expected it to. But the long-term success of any cryptocurrency has to answer a different question, which is whether it is a good currency. You measure a currency standing by looking at how well it delivers on its three purposes. Unit of account. Meaning it should allow you to value not just assets and liabilities, but also goods and services. Medium of exchange. Currencies exist to make transactions possible, and this is best accomplished if the currency in question is easily accessible and transportable. Store of value. To the extent that you hold some or all of your wealth in a currency, you want to feel secure about leaving it in that currency, knowing that it will not lose its buying power while stored. Given these requirements, you can see why there are no perfect currencies and why every currency has to measure it on a continuum from good to bad. For cryptocurrencies, the question then becomes how well they deliver on each of the purposes. 
The weakest link in cryptocurrencies has been their failure to make deeper inroads as mediums of exchange or as stores of value. Using Bitcoin, to illustrate, it is disappointing that so few retailers still accept it as payment for goods and services. So, why has cryptocurrency not seen wider acceptance in transactions? There are a few reasons. Inertia. Fiat currencies have a had a long run, and it is not surprising that for many people, currency is physical and takes the form of government-issued paper and coins. Price volatility. Cryptocurrencies have seen and continue to see wild swings in prices, not a bad characteristic in a traded asset but definitely not a good one in a currency. Competing cryptocurrencies. The cryptocurrency game is still young and the competing players each claim to have found the magic bullet for eventual acceptance. The disconnect. While the price of Bitcoin has increased by more than many thousand folds, the number of transactions involving Bitcoin has not gone up anywhere near that multiple. The analogy between gold and cryptocurrency has one weak link. Gold has held its value through the centuries and is a physical asset. For better or worse, it is unlikely that we will decide a few years from now that gold is worthless. A cryptocurrency that few people use as currency ultimately will not be able to sustain itself, as shiner and newer versions of it pop up. Ironically, if traders in Bitcoin and Ether want their investments in the cryptocurrencies to hold their value, the currencies have to become less exciting and lucrative as investments, and become more accepted as currencies. It is also worth noting that the real tests for cryptocurrencies will occur when they reach their caps, fixed or flexible. After all, Bitcoin and Ether miners have been willing to put in the effort to validate transactions because they are rewarded with issues of the currency, feasible now because there is slack in the currency, the current number is below the cap. As the cap becomes a binding constraint, the rewards from miners have to come from transactions costs and serious thought has to go into currency design to keep these costs low. Final thoughts. Cryptocurrencies, with Bitcoin and Ether leading the pack, have succeeded in financial markets by attracting investors, and in the public discourse by garnering attention, but they have not succeeded, yet, as currencies. He believes that there will be one or more digital currencies competing with fiat currencies for transactions, sooner rather than later, but he is hard pressed to find a winner on the current list, right now. For now, that's it from us. Hope you enjoyed and learned from this video. Smash that like button and subscribe to receive more videos on memos and write-ups from top investors. Thanks for watching.